Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another great Heron Habitat card for you. I am loving this stamp set. Um, it has so much detail in the image when you stamp it. Um, the, the image, the stamp is actually flat. It doesn't look like it's gonna give you all that texture, but when you stamp it, it has tons of detail in it. Um, we're gonna also use the Lovely in Linen Designer Series paper from our 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. Um, lots of beautiful colors in this paper. All right, let's start by watercoloring our circle. I have cut out a stylus shape circle. Um, this is um, in watercolor paper. It's the largest circle. And I'm gonna use some soft succulent uh, ink. I'm gonna get my circle wet first using my water painter. And then I'm just gonna pick up that color and I really just want it light and not real um, noticeable, just kind of a light water edge back there. All right. And we're gonna set that aside to, set that aside to dry. We're gonna add some flicks of color to it in a minute, but let's do our other stamping. I've got the heron that is flying here. The stamp set has one that is standing and one that is flying. I have another card here on YouTube that you can find that uses the other heron if you're looking for ideas. Now I stamped that in smoky slate and I'm gonna take my petal pink dark stamp and blend and just give that beak a little bit of color. Now sweet sorbet is one of the colors in the lovely in linen DSP. So I'm gonna stamp my sentiment in sweet sorbet. All right, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. To cut these out with the matching dies, we are also going to use some of the grass pieces, but I've already cut those out. This one and this one and that one. Um, I've already cut them out. Save us a little bit of time on the video. All right, wiggle your die around until you see. Check each little area. Make sure it's lined up just right, especially that beak and the feet. And then we're gonna use this label die. These labels are so cute. They have little hearts in them, little heart cutouts are so cute. All right, run that through. And get your pieces. They're cut perfectly. Now, we're ready to put some of our pieces together on our card base. I have a soft succulent card base and I have cut a strip of evening evergreen, just a quarter inch or a half inch strip that is five and a half. All the measurements for these pieces are on a free PDF over on my blog. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop back over to my blog. All right, now if you're like me, and you cut your piece a little bit too long, just take your scissors and snip that off. All right, now we're gonna use dimensionals for the other pieces. I've got this floral piece. The colors in the, this uh, designer series paper is just beautiful. So many good choices. Okay, I'm gonna kind of overlap that strip right there. And now I've got this strip and I'm gonna put my dimensionals just there on the left side. I'll put a little bit of adhesive on the right and we'll overlap those like that. Okay, now let's bring back our circle. I think we've given enough time to dry. I have an evening evergreen um, stamp, and write, uh, stamp and blend and I'm gonna just take the brush tip and flick some of that ink on there just to give it a little more interest. All right, now bring back over your card. You can use watercolor paper for this or you can use our shimmer white uh, cardstock. Both work really well. All right, so now we'll take our heron that is taking flight right there. And now I've got my pieces of grass. I cut the larger one from Evening Evergreen and the smaller ones from uh, Soft Succulent. And I'm gonna just use a little bit of Tombow and put this right over here, kind of on, it's kind of going off the circle. 
And we'll use Tombow for the smaller ones as well. Like that. And I'm gonna tie a bow with my linen thread. We're gonna stick this on with a dimensional. And I know that sounds weird, but the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna take this sentiment and put that right over it. Let's put it a little bit lower. Let's see if I can do this without, well, I took it off. Let's try that again. Stick the dimensional on top of the bow and then take your sentiment. I'm gonna put one on this side too. I put it over the bow like that. And there you have it. Really actually a simple card. You know, these herons look like they've been colored, but the only coloring we did was add a little bit of color to that beak. All right, I've got two other heron habitat cards for you here on YouTube. Make sure you look for those. Make sure you hop back to my blog for the free PDF that has all the measurements that you'll need. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.